Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 254. This week, we will be talking about a race which took place at a familiar place for Street Outlaws No Prep Kings, a location they've been going to for years now. Firebird Raceway in Eagle, Idaho. We had a race this past weekend, August 23rd and 24th. One of the first races for this second half of the No Prep King season. And let me just say, this race was exactly per the script we have been talking about that would be the perfect scenario for Strout Laws this season with all of the things unfolding for the whole Strout Laws scene, brand, whatever you want to call it, in the near future. This race was crazy. And before we even get into it, like it, it is unfortunate that we're never going to see this stuff as like a TV episode. I, I do think it would be cool if like we get the full-fledged episodes normally just on a platform such as YouTube. But I, like, I, I could go off on a tangent like this right now. To say a quick thing, I might make this as a video later on. But it's like, yes, they could probably still do that, but they probably won't make as much money. Because regardless of views, like I, I would assume if you got the same amount of views on TV and on YouTube, they'd make more money from the TV because, or like with the existing deals and stuff they had, because they've been on there for years now. And they've seen greater success in the past. When YouTube doesn't really care about your success in the past. They're going to pay you whatever the, the rate is. For however much that video makes. And I don't think they'd make enough money on YouTube. To quantify like overtaking like what they were doing for the TV show. Like so I, I could explain this more. I might in a later video. But like it's, it's unfortunate we're never going to see this stuff. As like a full fleshed out TV show. It's cool to see it with the streams and all that stuff. And all the different drivers that stream as well. But like. I just looking at something like a race like this in particular, I think would have made for an amazing episode. But I don't want to be all like down in the dumps at the start of the episode here. Like, let's get into this race right here. Because on Friday night, we had some massive names losing and not making it to the main event on Saturday. Because of their losses here, they would go on to race in the loser's bracket. But it was Justin Swanstrom, Jim Howe, and Robin Roberts. Jim Howe, a driver we talked about, is achieving that upper echelon tier of no prep kings drivers. I would say he's towards the top of the drivers. They're just outside of that upper echelon tier. Justin Swanstrom, one of the top, top drivers, say top five driver right now in No Prep Kings. Or I'd even say you could argue for No Prep Kings altogether in recent years. Justin Swanstrom right there, an absolute monster in No Prep Kings. Unfortunately, going out in Friday right here, not making it for the main event. And then Robin Roberts, after we're talking so good on him for winning these past two races. Unfortunately, you know, goes out right here, but he can't, can't knock him too much, can't blame him too much. He won the past two races, the race before the break and then after the break. So it is what it is. Robin Roberts went out on Friday as well. But moving on to the main event on Saturday. In this first round, dude, we had some crazy matchups. Disco Dean beats Jerry Bird. And these are two names I want to bring up because Disco Dean's someone that's always kind of like flown under the radar. Not a driver we talk about too, too much, but it's a driver that like when you look at No Prep Kings as a whole in terms of like the content production of it and like the kind of like exposure he gets and kind of like his almost outgoingness as being like the content creator side of things. Like one of the top guys there is. And then Jerry Bird, someone who like we don't really see much whatsoever. The only time we really see him is like all the negatives around like fights and all that stuff breaking out in the pits after races and all that stuff. Like was it at was there a, no it was a locals only show where he was like fighting the locals only dude or something like that. We always see him like negative kind of like Reaper. How they always show him like the negative light side of things. But he's a driver it, who cares about how we see him in like the content creator side of things. We see him as one of the fastest guys there was. I say was because he kind of showed up last season just pooped his pants and didn't do as good. He was the first overall pick of the team championship. I believe picked by Disco Dean if I'm not mistaken and was a driver that everyone's hyping up and just kind of fell short and we have this matchup right here with Disco Dean beating Jerry Bird and kind of showing like kind of the change of the times Jerry Bird falling off to the wayside and Disco Dean becoming much more prevalent in like the main fast guys in No Prep Kings then we had Murder Nova beating Nate Saylor big matchup right there then we had Clay Cole beating Giuseppe G another big name going out right there and then Kai Kelly raced against Ryan Martin in the first round the two goats of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings who do you think came out on top Ryan Martin with this crazy season he's having. Kai Kelly with the crazy season he's having as well. Like, that's the thing talking about these two drivers. Like, no matter what season they have, you can say it's a crazy season. Because if they're having an amazing season, it's crazy. They're doing way better than everyone else. If they're having a bad season, this is crazy. This is so bad for them. If they're having a mediocre season, it's mediocre because they've had highs and lows. So it's like this crazy season. Nonetheless, it's a crazy season for both of these drivers, no matter what they do. Because, again, they're the two goats of No Prep Kings. And Kai Kelly takes out Ryan Martin in the first round this week with a massive matchup right there a massive race going down right there like stuff like that is just 
Like, you'd love to see those matchups later on, like a Kai Kelly Ryan Martin finals. It doesn't get much better than that. But, like, the first round matchups is like, it's almost like more. I mean, almost like, I, I like, nah, uh, like, uh, more like pressure and like stuff around it, I feel, because like it's the first round. It's like, if we take this guy, it's a massive name gone for the rest of your path all the way to the final. So it's like, it's crazy seeing stuff like that in the first round. And Kai Kelly, like I said, ended up taking out Ryan Martin in the first round right there. Then in the second round, Kai Kelly. Does not end up moving on once he got Ryan Martin out of the way because he ends up falling short and losing to Chris Rankin in the second round. Then Daddy Dave loses to Clay Cole. And I mentioned Daddy Dave here because he's a driver I feel like. We saw him last season with the Audi. And like this is finally Dave's time. He finally has a car that he said is built for no prep kings. And he's going to show up and show out in no prep kings. And it's like he's almost done just mediocre. I think it's safe to say. Like he won an event last season. First event win for him. Congrats on that. But like dude... I, I just feel like Dave's kind of has been like almost underwhelming his performance and stuff since we saw him with the new car. But hey, he might figure it out. Hopefully he does because Daddy Dave's a massive name in Street Outlaws. Then we have Jeff Lutz losing to the Murder Nova. And I mentioned Jeff Lutz here because Jeff Lutz is a driver that normally towards the end of the season here, he gets a win. I believe the past three or four seasons I've been following him with no prep kings, at the end of the season like this, these last couple of races, normally it's like September, October. Jeff Lutz gets a win. So count on Jeff Lutz to get a win in these next couple of weeks right here. But he ended up losing with Murder Nova in the second round this week. Then we had Disco Dean beating Paige Coughlin. Once again, Disco Dean getting another win right there, moving on into the semifinals. And in the semifinals, the matchups would be Disco Dean and the Murder Nova and Clay Cole and Chris Rankin. Chris Rankin has a new car, if I'm not mistaken. I'm seeing a lot of content with Chris Rankin, which is really cool to see. But it's over the stack guy as well. But, or the stack guy's been promoting a bunch of his stuff, I should say. But, Chris Rankin, unfortunately, falls short to Clay Cole in the semifinals right here. And the other semifinal matchup is Disco Dean and the Murder Nova. Disco Dean made it to the semifinals last week, but unfortunately falls short in the semifinals once again, losing to the Murder Nova. Meaning, in the finals, we have the Murder Nova versus Clay Cole. And who came out on top? We have the Murder Nova I just talked about in Street Race Talk on Friday saying how they're having their best season ever. And going into the season, we were saying they need their best season ever for the betterment of Street Outlaws as a whole. And what does the Murder Nova do this weekend, right after I made that video? Goes out and wins No Prep Kings, beating Clay Cole in the finals. Massive win for the Murder Nova right there. Massive win for 187 Customs. And I'm seeing a massive win for Street Outlaws as a whole right there. Having your biggest star win on the biggest stage in the most crucial moments for the entire franchise's history seeing the murder nova win here is absolutely massive congrats to them on getting the win and it's so like i do stuff like that just honestly like i'm like i like, kind of like pat myself on the back I'm, like we were just talking about the murder nova needing to step up here and they are stepping up and they go on and take that to a completely different level of getting the event win right here and tying this back to what i said at the beginning like this would have been so cool to see on tv man this would have been so much fun to watch but hey it is what it is congrats on the murder nova to getting the win that is all for this event right here the next race isn't for another three weeks man we have three weeks till the next race and it will be september 13th and 14th at las vegas motor speedway in las vegas nevada so that is going to be a massive race right there out in vegas i'm super excited to see that one it is going to be absolutely insane but that is all for this week's episode of no prep news i thank you all so much for watching ttve make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications on so you don't miss a single video that i upload all of my videos I upload live at 6 p.m central standard time make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below your reaction to this race like i said i thank you all so much for watching ttve hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend i'm looking forward to a great week this weekend i honestly can't thank you guys so much for watching ttve make sure you follow me on instagram facebook tiktok always have a don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc XYZ signing out.